you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlor streets will not save Gotham from his record. Not now. This city is still under my protection.
You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. I can. I know you have to. I'm sorry it's come to this. Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. Haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. Grenade! I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. <laughs> and... He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Ra's al Ghul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue.
Why are you freaks so against higher education? What? Enjoying the fireworks. At this rate, the whole building is coming down. Hostages. Time's not on my side here. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Lightstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but... It would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started.
Jeffrey, Talia Al Ghul is here. Perfect. Be careful. You know you can't beat me. My beloved has trained you well. Didn't your beloved tell you to stay out of Gotham? Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're burning your own dad? It'd be hard for you to resurrect him if he's ashen, unless... That's the point. That's the point, isn't it? Wait! Where are you going? Okay then. Entrance is secure. Spread out. We'll find the perp. Keep going. They've got to be here somewhere. All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well... That man... would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking? Yeah. I can double-check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. Talia. So you are still in Gotham. You taken over the League of Shadows? I'm not their commander. They cast me out. You're the daughter of Raish al Ghul. He's dead, and you made sure that was permanent. Who else would get the job? My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's successor, why did Raish kill him? That, that doesn't make sense. I agree. It was an irrational whim. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. Is that why you burned your dad's body? After stabbing him? That looked like revenge to me. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. I'm glad someone has closure. 
Does all this mean that you're done with Gotham? I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. I think Bruce would rather still be alive, and you didn't answer my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cowl break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. Call it part of an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. I get that way sometimes, too. You were always looking out for Bruce. We both were. It's hard to imagine a Robin without a Batman. But I guess it's up to me to figure that out. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. Belfry's really coming together. This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. Wish we could fit a giant dinosaur in here, <laughs> but I think Bruce would approve. I know he would, because this is your home. Gotham's our home. Bruce was always looking out for it. And we can do that literally from up here. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor. One that Bruce knew you would face. So... He made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Always three moves ahead. Playing with a ghost, Alfred? You might say that. I'm finishing my last game with Bruce. I couldn't save our board from the manor, but I do have our notes. We tracked each move. To continue the game, if one of us was ever... away. Are you winning? Playing as Bruce, I can't see how he loses. Bruce is dead. Maybe he wins your game, but without him, we've lost. I'm not so sure about that. Not so sure he's dead? Not so sure we've lost. 
Bruce played an important role. But he never saw himself as the only piece in play. Hand me that cooling. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? When you came back to life, did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Hey, Lazarus isn't gonna bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. This is it. Alfred's playing right into Robin's trap. Mate in two. Wait, how, how'd you... An old way. It's how Alfred wins. Teach me. Robin must discover his own way to win. Robin thinks that sounds way harder. You hiding things from us, Drake? Maybe it's drugs. Or plutonium. I mean, he is a teenager. A chess set? That looks familiar. Aren't those Bruce's? Yep, custom made. The Knights even have bad ears. Would you look at that? They do have bad ears. I got them from Wayne Manor. I know it's dangerous, but I was careful and no one saw me. That's a big risk for a chess set. Everything we salvaged from the manor belonged to Batman. I thought we could use a bit more Bruce. Looks like you have me in five. <laughs> I'll get you next time, though. Bruce's chess set. I carved these pieces myself. I even gave the knights 
bat he is. I noticed. Jason wasn't having the best game, huh? I promoted a queen and was about to walk all over him. I don't pick a queen when I promote a pawn. I suppose you choose a knight then. That was always Bruce's move. A little obvious, even for him. I like the rook, actually. It's a protector, and a major piece. But people ignore it. They get distracted by more obvious threats until... Checkmate. Plus, castling is basically teleporting. How unorthodox. It's how Robin wins. <laughs> so Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Babs, help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it, and we'll know. been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex? Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now. Brain. I heard about you. The latest boy wonder. Aren't you supposed to be all smart and junk? Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, too. Uh huh. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? Batman had you working on something. I need to know what. For real. Well then. He asked me to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. I read your old papers. It's kind of a shame you turned criminal. Hey! I am not a criminal! I'm misunderstood. Right. So, what were you doing for Batman, then? Everything... is in this book. But... I'm missing my peace de resistance. I need you... to follow up on this here card. Card catalog? Where's the other half? Should be down in records. Okay. Bye. Processing 
Tonight is looking up. <clears throat> ah? You're back. Blackgate really needs to go digital. I get that you're Harley Quinn, but you could have just handed it to me. All available guards to red block. Play nice. Harley's been busy. Where do we even start with this? Hmm. Wow. Harley's profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden, we're set. No, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Doubt she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs. Hey, Babs, what did you figure out? <laughs> they all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is onto something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. He's like everyone else in here, except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Sorry, forgot how to door. But now that I'm here... Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Well then. 
Do us both a favor. Tell me why you served your time when your friends didn't have to. Do you just like prison? Hmm. Someone's done that homework. I want to know who's handing out the get out of jail free cards. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. That won't stop me. I'm going to spell this out for you. With the bat gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. I used to be someone I didn't want to be. But now, I'm free. You can be too. Guys, come check this out. Dick, it's upside down. I got it. Hmm. Harley's an actual shrink. Why is she selling healing bracelets? Supplements? <sighs> what the hell's a free glow egg? Mm-mm. Huh. Who would even buy that crap? She knows this stuff doesn't work. So what's her angle? Most Gothamites will see her be involved in one or more violent crimes a month. You know, statistically speaking. What's that got to do with anything? She's selling them hope. Oh, crap. Come to the Monarch Theater tonight. I've got an explosive announcement just for you. She definitely means explosive, literally. Coming to stop me from helping you. What do we say? Boom! Don't worry. That's why I made this. This little thing will give you the courage to do what you always wanted to do. An implant that lets you take on the world! This is too much. Do you really believe that Harley Quinn wants to help you? I bet you want to see it in action! Q has an extra strength model. Ahem. Why don't we try this again? <laughs> so much for Harley's magic cure all. <laughs> It helped us get you where you need to be. Isn't that right, Quinners? Free? I think Harley has bombs. Execute Echo Protocol. You all did so well. I'm so proud of you.
Get your free implants from my friendly associates on your way out. Zeta Q has left the building. If you see this video, it means we're all alive. A bit boring, really. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, it ain't all bad. I got one last little surprise for ya. Wait, I got an F in sidekicking? I really don't know how to take that. I don't care what you have to do. Keep your barricade up. Fun night? Aren't they all? That depends on your definition of fun. There's still no sign of Harley. This is ridiculous. What do soccer moms and yoga dads need to ride for? Maybe there's a sale on something they don't need. <laughs> I'll, uh, check it out. Be careful. I'll have to do a lot of paperwork if you die. Okay, she's on L3. Time to finish this. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be loud. them on remote control. Hand it over. Nah, -uh. My toy. Enough with the games, Harley. <laughs> As if. This has been in the works since Blackgate. Welcome to my party! Kind of underwhelming, to be honest. Just run. Fast! Hey! Where are you going? You can't leave yet! You were having fun! Sorry, Harley. Party's over. Party's not 
over until I say it is! You must have cheated! The bats definitely would have figured out where I was faster. And, 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 he would have personally taken me back to Blackett. Like a gentleman. I got you a taxi instead. Priority service. But I think you're getting the hang of taking criminals off the street and stuff. Thanks. I got dozens in holding and a triage nurse who hates me. I'm just gonna blame you, cool? It's what I'm here for. Don't be a smartass. I'm gonna be dealing with this headache for weeks. Sounds like you have it under control then. Oh yeah, I got a full desk of open cases, it says. God damn it! <laughs> you tell anyone about this clown girl, I'll gag you. So you can use a door after all. When the mood strikes me. They're listening. You may have questions. But I can think of a few reasons not to answer them. Every rich criminal I've looked into gets out of doing time at Blackgate. Why'd you serve yours? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by who? Well, no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> From the Powers Club? Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But you're fine sending me there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. 
Empty your pockets or I empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. His death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. <laughs> As for that other issue... We've already bribed the Senators. I can assure your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. <laughs> I am bored dealing with filth. I'm sorry, Mama. We need to get you to safety. of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. The court cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. <laughs> the last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. These are all bones. Oh, God. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget they had play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. 
Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie the Tattooed Lady would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. He used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. Proteges would come eventually. Your proteges were stealing buckets of confidential data. I put a stop to that. Whatever my associates are after is their business. I have what I came for. Whatever you're after was not worth killing for. I promise! My time is valuable. I will not waste any more of it talking to you! Halon system compromised. Please vacate the area. We're running out of air! Help us! Use the rail gun! <coughs> spoke earlier. Thank God you came when you did. Wouldn't have known without your call. He took all of our cryo gel. It's enough to drain the thermal energy from Gotham three times over. Enough to freeze all of Gotham? We'll take care of freeze. Just do me a favor and stay put until the police get here. Tell them what you told me. I will. Again, thank you. We need to find that cryogel. And take down Freeze. He killed that scientist. Just to spite us. And then, 
He got away! He said it was Batman's fault. Bruce promised him a cure for his condition. And in return, Bruce is supposed to behave. But I guess with Bruce gone, he's back in the game. What have you got, Tim? Judging from the list of stolen items, I'd say he's looking to upgrade his exosuit. And that's just for starters. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Breeze before he kills anyone else. Yes! Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Is this something in the weather report about an ice age? Be advised, extreme weather events in progress. Temperatures have fallen 60 degrees in just minutes. An extreme cold front? Weather doesn't do that. Not without some help. Freeze. Freeze can make weather now? Freeze can make weather now. The storm is localized around Elliott Center. We need to get there now. Field disruptors in place. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine. Your science project? When my disruptor goes off, you're not going to want to be anywhere near it. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. I can. This is for Gotham. I tried to warn you. System overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. Hard reset required. Seems straightforward enough. Hang on. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. Freeze? You still in there? You should have let me die. It would have been so much easier for you. <laughs> the weather machine is offline and the storm is clearing. Free said I should have let him die. How am I supposed to take that? Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. Now we're that humanity. We don't have much time. Take the drone. It'll get you to the prison faster.
thing. I told you before. Letting me die would have been easier. Now, nothing can stop what's coming. The water. That will change nothing. Soon. Nowhere will be safe. Done, Freeze. No more fireworks, or whatever the ice equivalent is. This... This was meant to be my greatest creation. With a mind like yours, you could have done so much good for Gotham. don't understand. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Guess getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure is constantly changing. It's it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides. Unstable phosphate groupings and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. But what if he's already conscious? 
I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. Taking some liberties here. Batman was rescuing prisoners. Your prisoners. Then you ran and fell into a turbine. It's not like Batman wanted that to happen. How would you know? You weren't there! I saw the security tapes. He had nothing to do with it. If Batman wants me to change the script, Tell him to come down here himself. Let him come. He can't, because he's dead. But he was in the reservoir just a few days ago. It's been almost a year. You really don't remember, do you? Gone, Basil. You need to stop whatever this is. This biopic is based on a true story. My story. And I won't let you ruin it. Free. Clayface slipped away. I'm coming home. Grabbing them would take way too long. 
Hey, maybe we could use this one as bait. Oh? Mm-mm. This is going nowhere. Did you break something again? Huh. Looks like they're headed north now. Tim, but Clay's moving. It does that sometimes, it's fine. Tim? Shit! Tim, it went down the drain. Why didn't you warn me? I did. He totally did. Clayface in town is headed for the reservoir. Great. Then we can take them all out at once. You saw what happened. If they blocked the pipes like they did here, it would build a lot of pressure. If the dam burst, it would flood North Gotham. We wouldn't have time to evacuate. I'll call Montoya and let her know what's going on. isn't good. Come to watch the show, Robin. I'd rather play something. You still casting the hero? Clayface is gone. Are you certain we're still detecting something? Oh. Readings are spiking. You must evacuate now. I'm sending the bat cycle to your location. Did you really think it would be that easy? <laughs>
Looks like you had some fun. You know, it was fun. Sorry you're stuck cleaning up, though. <laughs> Just another day at the office. Stopping a clay monster from drowning the city isn't the weirdest thing I've ever done. Gotham City likes to keep you guessing. And busy. The Commissioner wants me to bag and tag each piece of clay individually. Thank you for that. Sounds like you're in her bad books. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. I swear, if you spandex people weren't so useful, I... Why do I even bother? Ugh. It's clear you don't understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats. Court of Owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow. And they rule you, one and all. The nursery rhyme was scary enough. How long have you known the court's real, Talia? When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining an element called Dionysium. Its makeup is similar to Lazarus Pit samples. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. The Talons. So they're using Dionysium to make soldiers. 
I wonder why the League doesn't get the court the good stuff. They would probably pay a lot for a Lazarus pit. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus pits. I mean, the League creates monsters too. Look at your father. Oh, those are some harsh words. Would you say your friend Jason is a monster as well? Of course that was you. Jason never asked you to bring him back like that, Talia. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You wouldn't dare use the word gratitude if you knew what he's been through. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. So if we take down the court, the League will just let Gotham be? <laughs> Without Batman, everyone's making their moves. I'm just wondering what yours is. I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Just a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie. Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. It is my absolute pleasure to present our host for the evening. Seriously? If that's the voice, he's not even trying to hide it. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, 
Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. So you made it here, all by yourself. You're trying to destroy Gotham. I can't let that happen. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain. Hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you, Tim. Jacob Kane? How, how? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just... our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman will probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kirk Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for this city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Security breach! We're under attack in the ballroom! They came out of nowhere! Clearly I have bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. No, no, please, don't! and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. 
Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. Then let's be ready when we're caught in between them. So your League of Shadows has arrived. You should have warned us, Talia. Does this look like my League? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? I think the voice survived. He seemed well protected. Then the League will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. And the court will fight back with more talons. How many more people are gonna die caught in between? Countless. The League will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. What do you know? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. If Langstrom was so useful, why did the court kill him? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is, was, a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. And that is until he showed up and... Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hey, 
Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the Court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss him.
talons, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Mm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? <laughs> Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up. Just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war. It's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. Look at this place. Wait. Barbara? What are you doing here? Renee, glad you could make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. <laughs> did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. If you're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane, we need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even like do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade, anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. 
Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kind of hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics who will slaughter half the city to purify it. So you're building an army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you do. But unlike you, they know their place. Of course you'd have submarines. <clears throat> I don't want to hurt you any more than I have to. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard, but you failed me like you failed Bruce. Any other Robin wouldn't have got him killed. <laughs> Gotham won't accept the court is real. Let alone believe I'm the voice. No one has to. They just have to believe that you killed Langston. And what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. They're waiting outside, actually. Well, maybe not the judge. My wife is still the commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Montoya, Jacob Kane, mostly in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Working with Vigilante's detective? Catherine will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. Catherine, 
Tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can... Jacob! Jacob! Stupid, stupid man. We need to get these people out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! for his crimes and you murdered him no we murdered him the league of shadows thanks you for your collaboration bruce was never this helpful hmm. so you did take over the league this must have taken years to orchestrate decades i have a clarity of vision that my father lacked Without him, the League can reach its full potential. I'm surprised you didn't kill Race yourself. I didn't need to. So, you got everything you wanted. I guess that means the League leaves Gotham forever, right? The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. A torrent of blood doesn't sound like balance. It's actually kind of the opposite. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. I suppose every pawn is sacrificed, eventually. I am not your pawn! And neither was Bruce. And this game you're playing, it ends now. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Okay. Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya's scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. of my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Gotham. She's here. We just have to find her. Goddamn ninjas. So... This is weird. Weird like undead talons coming back to life, or weird like... Uh, how do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Talia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... <laughs> collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. 
And with our missing ninja friend. Here. She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, guess it's time to go back to that asbestos-encrusted shithole. Oh no. Alfred? How did I... You know... You really should not be fighting with those injuries. <sighs> Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. That's my fight out there. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. Uh... I proved myself the moment you met me. When I figured out Bruce's identity. And Dick's too. I learned how to be a hero by serving at a hero's side. I was the Robin that Batman needed. After everything that's happened... I've become the Robin I need to be. I'm certain you already know what must be done. Talia is hiding a Lazarus pit somewhere under this city. She thinks she's about to win. I can't wait to disappoint her.
Lazarus bed. Your Arkham experiment's over. Shut down. Call it ethical reasons. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable, more pliable to suggestion. So you made an army of zombies. Is that the plan? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. I like my brain the way it is. Thanks. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I've finally solved that problem. My father's mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory. Remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Bruce. Owls. Your Uncle Jacob is the leader. Well, was. The court's at war with the League. And since Raish is dead, Talia took over. She's been throwing you in the pit and pulling you back out to wear you down. Wait! You found the Court of Owls. You'd be so proud of us, Bruce. We're working so well as a team. <coughs> No, 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 no! Don't give in! That's what she wants! This pretender pulls you away from me. Come back to me, beloved. Yes! Good. Stay away from him! Bruce! After all I've done, you are to be my champion, not his! <laughs> Can't die again. <clears throat> Gotham's not ready. You're ready. You were always smarter than me, Robin. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you. 
You'll make a better Gotham than I ever could. Why are you laughing? You? Tim Drake. I'm about to watch a careless Robin be torn to pieces by a parliament of owls. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia, our ghoul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an El Ghul. Oh no. My beloved did train you well. <laughs> it is over. Now to our spoils. <sighs> A new voice, huh? That didn't take long. Take heart. Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever. There is no time where I let you get a Lazarus pit. Go! Deal with that pain. All of you grew without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run.
It was never the criminals of Gotham that scared me. It's you. The rich want more. Politicians who pander to your reckless demands. Police who hurt the people they're supposed to protect. This Lazarus pit. Because I won't let you. The explosion in the cave destroyed the Lazarus pit. Now that it's gone, the Court of Owls has mostly vanished. Without a shot at immortality, they know they're vulnerable. They'll lay low and regroup. Talia is also nowhere to be found. She's hiding somewhere and planning her next move. She left behind a small team of League assassins. I don't know if they're here to watch us or keep us busy. Knowing Talia, it's both. We've found the wreckage of the Batwing. He's... He's gone. Gotham City still needs me. The court will act like nothing happened. But I'm still watching. And I'll make sure they know. Bringing Jacob Kane's crimes to light was just the start. The Court of Owls is at war with the city and its people. And they're not about to stop. But they are done, hiding inside Gotham's walls. Because when I find them, they'll have nowhere to hide. People of Gotham, I know you won't let fear control your lives. And I am giving you my word that you will never have to. If you're watching this... I'm Batman. Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? of starvation. Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, I'll be right up. Oops. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you just go? Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good.
You're gonna need my password. Am not. Thank <laughs> you. 